On this cruise, we stayed in an aft mini suite. We had three people in our room. We had the two twins put together to make one king. And then we also changed the couch into a pullout bed, which is where I slept. We did purchase water ahead of time so that we had it in the room if we were thirsty. And then this is the bathroom, full size tub on the left, small compartment with toilet on the right. This is the couch pulled into a bed. We did ask for a mattress pad because it was pretty hard without it. I'd say it's good for one person, not for two. This is the balcony, maybe slightly bigger than a normal size, uh, but it was enough room for us. We are approaching Bermuda, and I figured I would stop and get a snack. Do -do -do. Get something to nibble on while we pull in to the dockyard. This is our view up the back. Very, very pretty. On our first port day, we went to the National Museum of Bermuda. This is the commissioner's house, the building that you see as you pull in on your cruise ship into the dockyard, and it also has the Port of Bermuda webcam on it. It's open 9.30 to 5. There is a fee to get in, and you can check their website for the current prices. There's 16 acres of grounds and 8 exhibit buildings for you to explore. Outside, there are many beautiful views, and then inside you can learn about Bermuda's cultural history.
the basement, there are displays about Bermuda's defenses and fortifications and the role of local forces in World War I and World War II. The Ocean Discovery Center had several exhibits, and some of them were interactive, which made it fun. There was information on the Bermuda Triangle, America's Cup Racing, there was the private shell collection of Jack Lightborn, there was information on ocean exploration over the years, there was a shipwreck gallery, and there was a treasure room. The last port day we went to Gibbs Lighthouse and we took a minivan. We were the only two people going there so we joined a bus that was going to Horseshoe Bay Beach and the driver dropped us off after dropping that group off at the beach. It cost $2.50 to climb the 185 steps to the top of the lighthouse. The lighthouse is 117 feet high and there are eight platforms along the way up where you can stop and rest or look out the window. When you make it to the top, there's a small door to go out. Um, there, you have to step down to get out. So I did sit and then put my feet down to get out because I felt a little bit safer doing it that way. Then you can walk all the way around. Depending on which way the wind was blowing, there were certain sides that were windy and certain sides that were not. But there were some great views up there. <music> 